Hello everybody and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. Today we'll be talking about integers. We will be learning all the basics of integers. Before we can do that, let's just take one step back. Can you remember what natural numbers are? Yes, natural numbers start at 1 and goes all the way up until infinity. And what's whole numbers? Whole numbers also include all the numbers from 1 up until infinity, but whole numbers also includes 0. Now that we've recapped our natural and whole numbers, let's look at integers. See, integers include all the whole and natural numbers from 0 up until infinity but it also includes all the negative whole numbers like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 all the way down to negative infinity. But what do integers not include? Like natural numbers and whole numbers, integers does not include any fractions like negative 3 over 4, 2 and a half, negative 4 over 9 or 7 over 3 and it also does not include decimals like negative 1,45, 0, 0,922, 7,5 or negative 3,66. Let's quickly recap. Natural numbers include all the numbers, all the whole numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4 up until infinity. Whole numbers include all the natural numbers, but also includes zero. Integers includes all the natural numbers, all the whole numbers, but also include all the negative whole numbers. Now let's look at the integers again. All the red numbers, all the natural numbers going to the right, they are called the positive integers. All the blue numbers, all the negative whole numbers, they are called the negative integers. And zero is neither positive nor negative. Now that we know what an integer is and we know the basics of integers, where do we use it? Let's look at a few examples. First off, we have temperatures. When it is a nice and sunny day outside, it can be 25 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius, and so forth. When it is cold, snowing, and freezing outside, it can be negative 1 degree Celsius, or negative 5 degrees Celsius, and so on. But where else can we use it? On Earth, we use sea level to measure the elevation, the height, or the depth of something on Earth. And sea level is always zero meter. So for instance, let's look at this girl. She is 10 meters above sea level. So that is positive 10 meters. And let's look at this fish. This fish is five meters below sea level. So that is negative five meters. So that's just two examples of where we use positive and negative integers in our daily lives. Now let's look at these numbers one more time. As we go to the right, the numbers get bigger and bigger. As we go to the left, the numbers get smaller and smaller. So let's just do a few examples of numbers you are familiar with. One is bigger than zero, but one is smaller than two. Two is bigger than one, but two is smaller than three. Three is bigger than two, but three is smaller than four. Now the same counts for the negative integers. Let's have a look. Negative three is to the right of negative four, so 
so negative 3 is bigger than negative 4. And negative 3 is to the left of negative 2, so negative 3 is smaller than negative 2. Negative 2 is to the right of negative 3, so it's bigger than negative 3. And negative 2 is to the left of negative 1, so it is smaller than negative 1. Negative 1 will be bigger than negative 2, but negative 1 will be smaller than 0. So now that we've learned this concept, let's do a few examples. Will negative 1 be bigger or smaller than 2? Negative 1 is to the left of 2, so negative 1 will definitely be smaller. Will 3 be bigger or smaller than negative 3? 3 is far to the right of negative 3, so 3 will definitely be bigger than negative 3. Will negative 2 be bigger or smaller than negative 5? Yes, negative 2 will definitely be bigger. And will negative 4 be bigger or smaller than 4? Negative 4 is definitely smaller than 4. So now, let's look at a few examples without using the numbers given. Will 20 be bigger or smaller than negative 1? 20 will be bigger than negative 1. Will negative 12 be bigger or smaller than 11? Negative 12 will be smaller than 11. Guys, you have done an excellent job. You have learned all the basics of integers. If you would like the notes for the basics of integers with an exercise and a memo, just check the description box below. I will leave a link. You can go and download the digital products from there and you can have it within minutes. Thank you guys for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.